In this video, I'll show you how to determine if a table of values represents a linear or quadratic relationship. The first question asks, complete the table to determine whether the relation is linear, quadratic, or neither. And to do this, we'll find the first and second differences. The premise behind this is that if the first differences are all the same, then the relation is linear. If the first differences are not the same, then you go on to find the second differences. And if the second differences are the same, then we conclude that it's quadratic. Now to calculate the first or second differences, you'll take your y value. So for the first difference, we'll take this negative 5 and subtract it from 5. For this slot over here, we'll take this negative 11 and subtract it from negative 5. So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 5, this y, minus that y, gives us negative 10. Negative 11 minus negative 5 gives us negative 11 plus 5, which is negative 6. Notice that this negative 10 and this negative 6 are not the same. Therefore, we know right away that this relation is not linear. Now also be mindful that because our x's are consistently going up by the same interval each time, you are allowed to calculate the first differences. If these x's were not consistent, you cannot use this method. Moving on, minus 13 minus negative 11. That's like saying minus 13 plus 11, which is equal to negative 2 negative 11 minus negative 13. That's like saying negative 11 plus 13, which is equal to positive 2, minus 5 minus negative 11. Negative 5 plus 11 is equal to positive 6. And finally, 5 minus negative 5 is equal to 10. Now we've concluded that this is not linear Let's go on to find the second differences. This time I'll subtract these two y's, minus 6, minus negative 10, and that gives us positive 4, minus 2, minus negative 6, that gives us again positive 4. So, so far this looks like a quadratic relation. 2 minus negative 2 gives us positive 4. 6 minus 2 is positive 4, and 10 minus 6 is positive 4. Therefore, this table represents a quadratic relation. Let's move on to question 2. Once again, complete the table to determine whether the relation is linear, quadratic, or neither. We'll start off with the first differences, and notice that the x's are consistently going up by 1, so we can perform the first differences. Starting off with negative 8 minus 27, we have positive 19. Negative 1 minus negative 8 gives us positive 7. 0 minus negative 1, that is equal to 1. 1 minus 0, also 1. 8 minus 1 is 7, and 27 minus 8 is equal to 19. These are the values that you should have gotten for your first differences. And for your second differences, we will subtract 7 from 19, 1 from 7, 1 from 1, 7 from 1, and 19 from 7. And also, I forgot to mention that since the first differences are not the same, this cannot be linear. Subtracting these two, we get negative 12, negative 6, 0, positive 6, and positive 12. You'll notice that this column shows an inconsistency of differences. Therefore, this table of values represents neither linear nor quadratic. And there you have it. That is how to use the first differences to determine if a table of values represents a relation that is linear or quadratic. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.